this message is pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. All right. God bless you. People make some in error, but God is bringing light and opening doors and raising up and ordaining ministers to shed light to those that are in darkness, those that are in error. And I say, Psalm in error. Psalm is rebellious. Jesus Christ, nor God, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, <coughs> the Holy Ghost the Comforter, do not, never have, and never will have an organization, a man-made organization, church organization, denominations, diocese, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, don't have that. Once again, God, the Son, Jesus, the Father, God, the Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost do not have a organization, denomination, diocese. Those denomination, diocese, organizations, those are for, and all of them are not bad. But those are for identification purposes. Watch this. And belief purposes. People have certain beliefs. And they label their, their church, denomination, organization, reformation, diocese. They name that to identify with their beliefs and their practices. People say, how come all churches can't get along? Can't, can't, can't come together and become one? Well, here is why. They all do not believe the same thing. That's why. I had a young man in Bible class one made the statement, how come all churches can't get together? How come all religious groups can't get together? All they say, How come everybody can't get together? They all preaching out of the same Bible. No, they are not all preaching out of the same Bible. For if all were preaching out of the same Bible, all would speak the same thing. And there'll be no need for it. Uh-huh. There are some denominations. Let's give some example. In the denomination you name, look at their beliefs, and you will see every single denomination belief differ on some things. God don't have a denomination. Jesus don't have a denomination. All Jesus churches, all of the body of Christ, all in the kingdom of God, believe the same thing. No matter where you are, when, uh, no matter ethnic, culture, uh, 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 geographical location, uh, uh, status. All believe believe the same thing. They believe what the Bible says. They believe what Jesus say. Everything Jesus say. <clears throat> Let's deal with some. Let me give some example. Catholic. That's the double day. Look at what they believe. I'm not gonna tell everything. I'm gonna tell some things. 
you come to the Pope, and the Pope is uh, absolved your sin. False. Buddha. Buddhist. Dalai Lama. Hindu. Charismatic. Pentecostal, apostolic faith, such a Christ, such a God in Christ. Baptist, Methodist, Episcopal, Lutheran. All of them that we know have differences of beliefs. I say all of them. Now, I didn't mean to just go, to go this long, but that's all right. Now, Jesus don't have not one nomination, not one organization. Because see what happened, folks take part of what Jesus say, but not all of what Jesus said. Yeah, they own that Bible and, and put out something. But not all things. You got to believe everything Jesus said. <laughs> now, in the body of Christ, we follow Jesus. And we believe everything Jesus said. Everything. He didn't want. Jesus said, be perfect. Preach that and see how many that say they Christians fall out with you and fight <laughs> hey, get it right there. Live free from sin. See how many fall out with you and fight that. But the saints of God believe every word Jesus said. They don't. They don't fight the scripture. All right. Here's the point. The problem is. Yeah, whatever denomination you are, said God Christ included, you make the mistake and you mix your denomination rules and laws in with Jesus and the gospel. Those two don't mix. The world and Jesus don't mix. Your denomination and Jesus don't mix. Including those of you that call yourself holy. It don't mix. See, if it did, you'll say, we believe and practice and preach everything the Bible said. That's what you'll say. You would have a certain set of what you believe. Yeah. I know it says God in Christ. Uh, uh, apostolic faith too. The highlight is the leader. They pay homage to the leader, which is a man, which is a bishop. The leader is Jesus Christ. The leader is Jesus Christ. They also have financial assessments, financial reports. Tithing, the law of tithing and offering in the Old Testament. None of that is of God. But when you mix it in there and you say, unless you follow these rules and guidelines of our organization and denomination, you ain't saying, that's where the problem comes in at. Don't mix your rules. And I'm not saying all rules bad. I'm not saying that. But don't mix it in with the gospel of Jesus Christ. For if you mix it in with the gospel of Jesus Christ, you adulterate it. When you mix the law in with the gospel of Jesus Christ, when you mix your financial reports and assessments in with the doctrine of Jesus Christ, 
when you make your leader in with the God, with the doctrine of Jesus Christ and say submit to the leader, you're in trouble. Don't mix your stuff in. There's nothing. You want to follow those rules? Ain't nothing wrong with following those rules as long as they don't come in conflict with the word of God. There's nothing wrong with you giving 10% of your income. There's no sin. Ain't nothing wrong with doing that. But you bet not say you got to do it or else you ain't saved. Obey bishop. Do what that bishop say. Submit to bishop. Submit to leadership. Ain't nothing wrong with that if you choose to do so. But you better not say you got to do it or else you ain't saved or God said do it or the scripture said do it. That's where you have that where you make a mistake. Organization rules are commandments of men and traditions of men. The only thing you write is the word of God. The only thing you write is the word of God. Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. Ain't the law in the Bible? The law over. The law part of the Christ. It's Christ now. We don't offer sacrifice. We don't give offering. We don't, we don't, we don't give tithe. You say, I'm giving tithe. You ain't giving it to God. No, you're not. You're not giving it to God. God don't receive it. Because there's no more priests and tabernacles and all that kind of thing. I, we don't believe in music in the church. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. We believe everybody wear white on the first Sunday for communion. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. We believe had to be on the first Sunday. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. See that? See that? We 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 believe in having Easter service. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. Easter sunrise service. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. Christmas service. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. Trick or trunk. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. The Valentine. That's not in the Bible. That's your rule. Don't mix your rules up. With God rule. Now your rule cannot come in conflict with God rule now. Your rule cannot be seen. Pass it out of version. That's not God rule. That's your rule. About to pass it out of version. Why is the pastor don't want to have that version? The scripture you get is not singled out one particular person. All of them that lay the word of doctrine. They get everybody in the labor word of the doctor. Where they have a verse of that. Don't mix your rules. Wear a hat on your head when you pray. That's not God's rule. That's your rule. Fast every Tuesday and Friday. That's not God's rule. That's your rule. Uh, Sabbath day, that's not God's rule, that's your rule. You meet on the first day of the week, that's not God's rule, that's your rule. You wish more Sunday, that's not God's rule, that's your rule. Wish more Saturday, that's not God's rule, that's your rule. Don't drink no wine, that's not God's rule, that's your rule. And you better not tell a lie. This ain't be not drunk with wine. You hypocrite. All right. I'm just showing them. You make a mistake when you mix in your rules in law with God's laws and rules. Some of your rules go contrary with God's rule because you say God said, which makes you a liar. Uh -huh. All right, that's enough of that. Don't mix your denomination and organization rules in with God. It's obvious. You do it if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to. Because God didn't say do it. That's just our rule. 
All right, that's enough. God bless you.